what's up everyone welcome back to another video another photo trip so this photo trip i'm coming to you from arcadia maine arcadia national park in maine one of the most beautiful places okay it might be the most beautiful place i've ever been um arcadia maine breathtaking so i'm from north carolina but i live in atlanta i live in a land locked city and one thing about me i love the water that's one thing i don't get in atlanta so anytime i'm on vacation somewhere with water is involved i'm just in love so arcadia main was beautiful i had one day there of course i had my fuji xt30 with me and here are some of my favorite photos this photo y'all is from thunder hole pretty much at the bottom of the rocks it was a little risky because the rocks were very slippy, da slippery down there. But I wanted to get a photo of the water crashing on the rocks. And I'm glad I was able to get this one. This one is the crop version. And then I have the uncropped version here. I'm not sure which one I like better. But let me know if y'all like the cropped one or the uncropped one better. But I really wanted to get a picture of the water crashing on the rocks. And it was kind of hard for me because... You know, sometimes the water, when the water pressure is so hard, it kind of just looks like toothpaste or whatever it might be. So I wanted to be able to capture the water, but still keep it looking refreshing and appetizing like it really looked in real life. Cause you know, with nature photography, you never can get the photo to look how beautiful it looks in real life. But I love this photo. It's like action, but it's still calming and relaxing. You could just hear the sounds of those waves crashing on those rocks. And this was one of my favorite destinations in Acadia Park was Thunder Hole because you get to be right down on the water by the rocks. And it was so many different destinations in Acadia, Maine that you have to drive. Well, you don't have to. I mean, if you want to spend all day there, but it's miles and miles and miles and miles. So yeah, if you want to do it all in a day, you have to drive, but it's so much to do at the national park. It's one of the most visited national parks in the world. And I see why, because it just has so many different beaches and trails, mountain views, just so many beautiful things going on. And of course I went there earlier this month for the October leaf change in the New England states. So I got to see the leaves changing at Acadia and it was just beautiful. So this photo, they have this trolley that goes around Ollie's trolley. Um, I just like the colors of the trolley, the way that they vibe with the color of the trees and the color of the sky. So it was really overcasty this day when I went. So it was really overcasty, so the sky was really white, but I was still able to kind of soften it up and bring some of the blue colors back because when the photo was in raw, the sky was just completely white, but I was able to bring some of the blues back. And that's just the one thing about shooting nature is that the sky is always a tricky, tricky factor, at least for me. Guys, look at this photo. It's just so breathtaking. You see the, the water just was so, so, so refreshing looking. I didn't get in the water. It's October, of course, and it's in the North. But guys, just look how refreshing that water. It's just, it's, it'll take everything in you not to just jump in the water, at least dip your foot in or something. The water is so refreshing. I'm so glad I got to get a picture of the rocks that you can see underneath without it looking too weird it took me a lot of shots to be able to kind of get it how i wanted to because um you know when you're taking not having my reflection in it and then also having just the just the amount of rocks as kind of like a foreground but then also showing the vastness and the openness um that was around it you should see how beautiful it is at arcadia This one, I really wanted to focus more on the rocks underneath the water. So this one, I have less of the trees, obviously less of the sky, and it's more focused on the water and kind of looking from an angle. If you're looking up kind of on the water, it just seems so vast. It seems like the, the ocean or this lake just goes on for miles and miles and miles. And I, this area was called Jordan Lake at Acadia they had different destinations different beaches um like i said a billion different trails so you could spend just a month exploring 
Arcadia. But if you want to do it all in a day, like I said, they have a, a loop you drive around and it's very, very accessible. Um, a lot of parking spaces, pretty much at every destination, plenty of room for everybody. Even though it's busy right now, it's plenty of room for everybody to um, enjoy everything. And then you see here, this is just one of my favorite photos from the trip overall in Acadia, of course. I just love the way the blues look. Um, this photo, I had the colors of the trees more muted and it's more just like a contrasty, harsh um, effect on the photo. This one, it was getting a little bit darker. The sun was going down at Acadia and I already said it wasn't any sunlight because it was super overcast so I just kind of went with the natural way this photo actually came out in my camera and I just like how I just love the color the water just looks like glass in this photo the water just looks so blue and like glass and then the way that the trees are coming from the right is kind of like you're peeking out or like you just poked out of a wonderland where you really just poked out of a trail um kind of like you see here in this picture you're kind of going into the trail in the the picture prior, it was kind of like you just opened up out of the trail into that new world. So this picture, this is my first photo. I'm not sure how I feel about this photo. This is my first photo where I really um, experimented with shadows and like contrast. Usually I don't mess with shadows and contrast because I don't feel like, um, I feel like that's for like experts. And I'm very much amateur, so I'm always scared, like messing with like lighting and shadows. But I like this photo because it shows, you know, the darkness opening up to the brightness of um, that Jordan Lake. And then you also have those two walkers um, walking out. So I like how it had the people element in that photo. And this photo, I love this photo. This is top three favorite photos. I might actually get this one printed for my apartment because it fits my apartment colors perfectly and I just love the way that I was able to frame this tree get a little bit one thing I don't like about this photo is the shrubbery at the bottom right under the tree before the water I wish I could have had that cropped out but still was able to get the base of the tree I wouldn't I wanted to crop that part out but I couldn't get the base of the tree and that I kind of feel like the shrubbery is throwing me off down there it should just be the tree um but hey you know that's the way it looked in real life this photo uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this photo eh, it's I like it but it's definitely not one of my most one of the photos I'm most proud of uh, I didn't know how to angle this photo I didn't know how to crop this photo like what to make the subject of the photo so it's kind of a little busy you don't really know where to focus your eyes but I still threw it in there just for the end you know I throw my worst photos at the end but guys, these are my favorite photos from the Arcadia trip. I went earlier in October, Arcadia, Maine, Arcadia National Park on Fujifilm. I'm Simone. Let me know what you guys think about the photos and make sure you subscribe to the channel.